I'm going to give you a tour of my art room. It's not much, but I love it anyway. So this little thing I actually got at a state fair from a game. And so I just have it hanging on the door. I call it Mr. Grump because he looks kind of grumpy. Okay, so when I first walk in and I turn to the left, I have my little bookshelf. And then on the wall I have these um, three different um, little, they're not necessarily paintings, but I did paint them. And I bought all the materials pretty much from Walmart. So I did paint this background and I bought these letters from Walmart too and I painted those. The sand dollar did come from Hobby Lobby. And so on this one I just bought this from Walmart the way and left it the way it was and then I painted the little anchor and those are all seashells that I picked up from the ocean from two different trips. And the same thing, I just left the background the same and I painted the letters and, the and originally I had the blue one in the middle but I just had to change things up since I've been in here so much. And so down here I just have a picture of Pee Wee. Um, two little jars that I made, so these are like memory jars of both trips to the ocean. And if I go back this year I'm going to make another one. And then here are my little rock caves that I made. I found all these rocks in my backyard, my parents' backyard. And then these two cats, they came from a thrift store. They're very pretty. Here's some more picture frames. Most of my picture frames come from the thrift store as well, or Goodwill, and, except for this one. I got that one for Christmas. So back here is a picture or a painting that was given to me. This right here is a basket that came from a thrift store and I painted it. So it was like brown and dusty. And I based it off of a um, seashell that I picked up from the ocean. It had a little bit of red in the bottom like that. And I picked this up from Goodwill. I absolutely love it. And all the bottles come from Goodwill. And I'm going to fill them up with seashells just like I did with this one. And this little bottle is something that I found. And I made this in high school and I just put this little plant in there. And so I found that one at the ocean. These two were given to me. And then I found that one at the ocean. I was pretty excited to find this. And since I showed you some of the things that I found at the ocean, I'm going to show you my absolute favorite thing. I do keep this in the closet where it's nice and safe. Because I'm afraid it might get knocked over and broken. And It's the smallest little sand dollar. So that's what I wanted to find from the ocean so bad. And I actually found one. It's super tiny. And I keep it in there so it's safe. So now I'll show you what is inside these little cubbies. So this one I just keep like old flowers. I have these that are like felt animals. So there's like frogs and cats and ladybugs, ducks, extra bags, different types of fabric, more flowers. Here are some um, decorative bags that I had. Some extra stuff from a kit that I bought and never made. And like string and yarn and stuff. So that's pretty much all that's in here. So in this one, I just have a old picture frame. And then inside here, I just have 
random things like cords and a remote to a DVD player. I have some pumpkin carving things. I bought this from a thrift store because I wanted to make the snowman with this if it ever snowed and it didn't snow enough. I have a label maker in here and calculators. So basically this is just kind of a, drunk, a junk drawer. So this drawer just has more picture frames and just some other random stuff. This one just has some squishies in this box that I decorated. And so I have some extra um, sand and seashells. I have some breakables like this that I would like to give a makeover to. I have this candle that my dad made. And like I said, this box just has squishies in it. I put them in Ziploc bags so they don't touch each other and get messed up. So this bottom one just has some lotion and perfume. So some of my favorite perfume is this Vanilla Bean Noel. And I also really, really love the Winter Candy Apple. So in this one, I just have some fossils that I found that I just keep in bubble wrap and in bags or little Ziploc bags. These are rocks that I got from the Crater of Diamonds years and years ago. So this one also has fossils in it, and so this is a big one that I found at the creek. I moved the light closer so I think you can see it better. And then this one just has some scrapbook paper, some letters, some of these canvases. Okay, so I showed you everything that was over here in this, and so when you move over, you have this little thing. So at the top, I have this little um, chest, and I have like little cat costumes in there. It is broke. That's okay. Okay, so underneath my little box of cat costumes, I have these little pink containers, and these just have paint in them, so I just have them labeled so I can figure out what colors and what containers. So this one says green, so I have all my green paint in there. This has paint brushes and toothpicks, because sometimes when I'm painting, I use toothpicks to, to paint or work on small areas. And so this has like small containers and watercolors. So I try to keep my acrylics and watercolors separate. Down there I just have the bag that I use for my ring light. I have some foam that I use for squishies. So over here I just have my little table where I paint things and work on them. On my table I have this little, it's actually a flower pot. But it's this little cat sleeping and I thought it was perfect to put like rulers and scissors pencils, pens. In this corner I have this organizer and on top of it I have more sharpies and more colored pencils. So I have some drawing books. I have create this book and create this book too. And so here's the one I'm working on, create this book with cats. I have two drawing journals and I have the cat the game. I have an idea for a cool video where I use those little prompts. So this is where I keep most of my supplies. So I tried to just label them, so I just took a piece of paper, cut it up, and wrote what was in there on them. So I have my tape in here. 
This is scissors, markers, construction paper, we have glue, pins. I try to keep everything organized. So this is kind of like a, a little small junk drawer. So I bought these little containers, about two of them from the Dollar Tree. And I just have a variety of things in them like paper clips, pins, um, we have some rubber bands. So I just have different things in them. So I just keep all my supplies separated within these drawers by crayon boxes. So like here I just have like a little extra junk drawer. I just try to be as organized as I can. So like here I just have some um, jelly roll pins. I have some brush markers in this one. I have crayons in this one. I have staplers in this. So I use the crayon boxes within this to keep everything a little more organized so everything's kind of easy to get to. And so basically the rest of them are just kind of random things. And then right there I just have a um, little box full of, of magazines and scrap things that I can use for a collage journal that I'm working on. Okay, so if you move over to the left, I have this old um, desk. One day I would love to paint it. As of right now, it just looks kind of beat up, but one day it's going to look awesome again. And so on it, I just have like, my squishy makeovers. So here are all the, the cat squishies I gave makeovers to. And so I just bought um, some of these like spice racks from Amazon to stick them on. I already had this one. I need more. And then right here I have this little storage thing. It has my painted rocks in it. So. I do plan on making a video where I show you all the rocks that I have painted on. So I'm not going to show you everything that's inside this little container and in each drawer I have them separated by the ones that are painted and the ones that are not painted. So stay tuned for that. And these drawers just have some Polaroid um, boxes and things. I kept them because I thought maybe I could use them for something. So down here I have my squishies and my fabric paint. And so I do have some Taco Bell cups. I just have them upside down so if they're getting kind of toward the end, I just put them upside down so they're easier to use. This, I accidentally poked a hole in it, and so I put it in here. Then down here, I just have some Mod Podge, because that was just easy for me to get to. Doesn't really make sense right there, but I have some fabric and Gorilla Glue. For the same reason, it's easy to get to. So this, this one right here is just for my Tiger Squishies. They're all waiting for their makeovers. And so down here, I just keep other things. So I have, I usually have a lot more than one, but I use napkins to clean up messes or to wipe off my paintbrushes between using them. And then I have different types of squishies down here. So I have a cupcake, this cat, a monkey, I also keep nail polish down here, so I did use some nail polish on some squishies. And I also have some top coat that I use for my rocks. So after I paint my rocks, I use that top coat nail polish. So I had to back up just to show you my, my shelf that's right next to the desk. It is kind of tall. So I recently bought this shelf, and so it doesn't have much on it yet. But up here I have a stuffed animal. I had this since I was a kid. I have a picture of Pee Wee. And so here are some of my makeovers that I recently did. 
these are also on my channel so if you're interested in watching how I made this jewelry box or having a closer look at these two knickknacks that I painted those are also on my channel okay and then I have this picture frame that I purchased from a thrift store and I I drew out this picture that says say cheese and it's an instant camera printing off a slice of cheese here is my vintage camera collection here are the um, shrinky dink pins that I've made of my family's cats and other little pictures that I drew out I would like to put this maybe up here somehow without it falling I don't really want to poke holes in this apartment so I don't really want to hang it on the wall here's this little pot I did find all these rocks at the river and I painted them to look like cactuses and I have these two Build-A-Bears, so I made each of these, and so this one's name is Miley, and this is Jessa. And then I have this little frog stuffed animal that I, that I won at the fair. And next to this shelf, I have this storage container, and so I just have some clothes in it. Our apartment's kind of small, so I keep my clothes in here, so I have that one and two more that are similar to it. And in the closet, I have um, my clothes, so I'm not going to show that, but this came from Dave & Buster's. It came from the huge claw machine in there, and this is my radioactive Garfield. Over here, I have some squishies that I'm working on, and then over here, I have some rocks that I'm painting on. So that's my room. It's not much. But it's mine and I love it anyway. Well, thank you guys for watching. Bye!